What's going on everybody? Dark and Wendy back at it again with another video. Now I, I know, I know, I keep saying that we're gonna go to my get to my fake decks and start start going through Gen 2 so I can explain all of them, my thought process, the origins and all that. But things keep on coming up that I'll be wanting to do more. So right now I'm doing a QA video. And I decided to do a QA video just to kind of give people an opportunity to ask me things since I know like in the community in the fake my community I'm kind of isolated for the most part at least I feel that way like I'm not really I don't really talk to a lot of people and I recognize that but but I'm still I'm still kind of cordial but for the most part most most people don't we don't really talk a lot aside from a few specific people so I decided to just have fans people just other fellow fake amount artists or just pe random people online in general ask me like about me in general if they had questions about who I am as a person just my my opinions on Pokemon my fake amount process things like that so yeah we're just gonna go through this I I asked back on September 30th and it's I'm recording this October 19th in the early morning <laughs> So that's that's enough time. I, let's see. Uh, mm, it's not that it's not that many, but it, it'll do. It's whatever. If people if people have stuff to ask, they'll ask. If not, if not. So we're just gonna go. We're just gonna jump right into it. Hopefully, my answers satisfy. All right. Have you ever thought of stats and move pools for your mods from Tangerine? Um. Yes and no. I'll say yes because. Uh, other people do it all the time. They just include their stats and stuff like that for the mods as if they're actually real and going into a game and stuff like that. And people have asked me to do that in the past, but for me, I'm more into the design aspect of Pokemon. I don't really care about the competitive nature of it. I don't know. I just like playing the game, seeing the and seeing the new mods. That's all I care about for the most part. So my so my project is all about just design and stuff. I don't really care about the stats and move pools and all that other jazz. So, and I yeah, that's pretty much my yes and no. But I have done a couple of stats and stats. I I haven't touched the move pools, but I've done stats. So let's see, not not for lullaby, but for weirdoom. Yep, Weird Doom and All Dismal are the the ones that immediately come to my head when it comes to the stats because I've done them for them. Um, just three ninety five for Weird Doom and it's four ninety five for All Dismal. But yeah, like you can see that the stats aren't anything special. Weird Doom has high high speed, high special attack, uh, decent special defense, and everything. All Dismal, like I said, four ninety five, high speed, high HP. Attack and deep attack and special attack are high. Poor, pretty poor special defense and regular defense. Nothing, nothing really groundbreaking or anything. So, like I said, yeah, I don't really care that much to do stats and move pools. It's just not my type of thing. Like heck, like me, me leaving the open ended just allows people to just think about it for themselves. Like they can imagine, it can, they can just imagine what their move pools would be like and stuff like that. I'm not really bothered by it. So yeah, uh, from Adam, good friend Adam, let's see. What's your current design process? Like how do you start? Okay, now this is a pretty simple question. <clears throat> um, and it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of easy to answer because yeah, like, when it comes to my design process and everything, I like to keep myself kind of organized when it comes to keeping things together. That's why I got my wiki in the first place to have everything like organized and like uh, make it look professional, even though it's not professional or real at all. But yeah, for here, okay, so my, my process for making a generation or whatever just comes from me being organized. So like I open the Google Doc, I'll number it from one to however many mods I want to make. In this case, Gen 8 is 119. After that, I just go online and just start Googling stuff like weirdest animals. Like you, you just saw that it automatically popped up. 
like like here we have 61 strangest animals on earth 13 of the world's strange creatures you got the pictures right here 50 unusual animals to see before you die like we have you have all these resources and not only that i just go japanese mythical creatures first thing that comes up is a kappa i have like i think i have like two or three kappas kappa lines at least so legendary creatures from japan you got this whole got this whole long list of stuff so yeah that's pretty much it once i have i just go through feeling stuff at random places because none of my regions are based on any place in particular but i always vision envision how uh, a trainer might uh, encounter certain mines in certain locations so like uh, you may see a, all, a bunch of water types in one area and uh, some more water types in another area because it may be like a big lake over here and a small river or wetland over here things like that that's all that's only in my head since i'm not making any maps or anything but yeah i just go through fill them fill everything in and after that i just come up with a name and everything so like i make the name, give the entomology of it, give it the typing, and give it the classification. Just go through all that for all of the mods that, are, that I'm planning. Once I do that, it just comes to me picking and choosing which ones I want to draw. Because I don't really like to go in order a lot. Instead, I just, like I said, I just go through, pick and choose which ones work. And well, not which ones work, but which ones I want to do right away and which ones may require more time or things that I'm not really worried about doing so fast. So, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much that process. My planning pro that's pretty much my planning process. And then when it comes to the actual designing aspect of it, it's kind of well, it's kind of simple. Like for here, like I'm, I'm this is just uh, this is just nutcher. So, Nutcher is pretty much for my Gen 1, like you, if you recall from the Gen 1 video, Nutcher is pretty much a nut hatch, but it's not really anything special. It's just a, a bird in a nut, but I'm still going to revamp it and make it more specific and more, I guess, more dynamic, I guess. I don't know. That, that, that'll be up to how other people see it, but yeah. Um... Here I just for here these are betel nuts in specific in particular aside from I guess I did a walnut or a pecan for the original one but yeah that's pretty much that and then once I have I bring up pick I do bring up pictures for revamps I do I bring up the old design too since I want to still carry on some some of the characteristics of it that made it the original design in the first place. Other times I'll just completely revamp it all together. But yeah, for instance, I'm right right now I just have this is right now I just have the circle. It's not really I really I, I just have the circle right now since I'm working on other things. But right but yeah, my design process is pretty simple for the most part. I just plan, organize, pick and choose which ones I want to do and then just draw them. It's not really it's not really too complicated despite what people may think or may not think i don't know but yeah that's pretty much it my my, des my design process is not that it's not that difficult at all but yeah that's how it is all right next up we got kaiju do you prefer simple simple pokemon with not much to them but a unique design or do you prefer pokemon with deep historical and mythological inspiration the same goes for your pokemon as well okay okay so my thing is when it comes to pokemon designs it is what it is so like i don't really have a set preference but i do like when designs have a lot more going to them than people think there is so like for example the fossils the gather fossils that people say are awful horrible they shouldn't have been made why are they like this blah 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 like those fossils are probably one of my fa some of my favorites just because of how weird and goofy they are but also because it ties in well to what they're based off of they're based off the bone wars which is when the scientists and paleontologists would just slap bone find bones and slap them together and, and claim that they made found a new species of dinosaur and stuff like that they're based off of that and yet people still hate them and say that they're awful and they want the original ones blah 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 even though the point of the gather fossils is that 
they're supposed to be abomination they're supposed to be chimera so i like i just like i like all pokemon designs but i do like ones that have more myth, myth, mythos based in general or just more lore in general like like i'm the type of person who will say that garboder is probably a bit more lore I feel it with lore, has more lore than just Lillipup, something like that. So, um, like I don't have a set preference, but I like them. Well, that that, that is a preference. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and for my own faking mind, mm, it's kind of I'm kind of indifferent when it comes to that because I just like. My my mindset is if if they've done that kind of thing, it's fine for faking my artists to do it. Like people put boundary like to put boundaries on what can and can't be made into faking mon and Pokemon and all this other stuff and act like they know what they're talking about when they don't know anything at all. Like the actual designers know what they're doing since they're actually the ones working there. So I'm the one who believes that make you can make designs out of anything you want and as long as it's not as long as it's not something that is overly offensive and things like that. So, do I prefer simple, simple Pokemon with not much but a unique or Pokemon with deep historical? I like both. I'll say I like both. Because you need your simple and you need your complex. Like, the reason Pokemon is as big as it is because of the, the variety of mods that they have. There's, oh, there's 901 or 2 right now. And they each have their own different, I they each have their own different bases, look, feel, personality. They all they're all special in their own way. So I like so I like all of it because I like variety. I don't need any, everything to look the same. Like some people may want everything to look. People, some people want everything to look like an animal. Some people want everything to look like a kaiju beast thing. I want I like the variety. So I like so I don't have a preference, I like both. But I do like Mythos a bit more. Okay. From Henry. I'm kinda stunned a lot because I don't want to ask something you've answered before or regurgitate your own resume at you. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. If you don't if if you can't think of anything, you can't think of anything. Alright, did you make your profile picture or did someone else? All right, someone else did make my profile picture. It's from all o four one two, all four zero one two. Got <laughs> okay. Uh, I forgot. No, I know. I know who. <sighs> what was this in that? Uh, let me just images. Tried to find the actual name, but I forgot. I forgot how it goes. It should be. Uh, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find it so I can give him the proper credit that he deserves. Um, hmm. Where is it? Let's see. Oh. Uh, oh, four ones. There it is. His name is, he, he is all zero, all zero four one two. Here you go. Go follow him on DeviantArt. So, yeah, this is where my my profile pic comes from. It's a dark. It's an Arcanine that's pretty much in the dark. I don't know its exact location, but yeah. For go go follow. Go follow R0412. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Ne next question. Have you ever created characters for your minds or thought of it? Like gym leaders would be cool. <sighs> now, my thing with that is I'm not really... I, I personally don't believe that I'm too great at actual human characters when it comes to Pokemon. Like, I can... Like, I can I could probably probably transform a person's uh, picture, like their selfie or something, into a mon. I mean, into a character, since I've done that before. But actually, creating my own character for myself, yeah, no, I can't. I, like, I tried that in the past, and hold on, if I can still find it, 
if I can still find it. Uh, let's see. We have, I remember his name was Windsor, I think. Yep, there he is. This was my first and main attempt, Windsor. He, back in 2014, this was my first and only attempt at drawing him. Uh, so, yeah. Not that great. I don't, but of course, of course, I could try. I could try again. Well, I'm. Well, I may try again. So it's just to give him a revamp, just to show the difference, since I have that base now. <laughs> but I haven't thought about it since I don't really care. Like I said before, I'm not making a game out of this, so it's not really required. And I don't. And yeah, it's just not really my thing. All right. Next up from Chris Lucy. How long does it take to go from idea to finish for one figure mod? Okay, so back then when I was a bit younger, I used to just like a, my my process was still the same. My list, I make a number list, but it'd be it'd be on paper. I list them, I research, I do everything for them, and then I just I had everything on paper. I would draw on paper and everything. So that's how things would be kind of fast for me since I would just transfer the stuff that I did on paper and like go over them or or just redraw them on when I had when I finally got my tablet. So back then it didn't take that long. It would probably take 30, 30 minutes to an hour. But now because I have a lot more stuff going on, um, like commissions, just talking, with, just me actually trying to build myself grow out grow a bit more like just relax a bit more since i've been pumping stuff out for years and years but and it's been fun but i need to like hold back since yeah my social life has kind of stagnated a bit and and i'm st and i'm kind of sort of getting better with it so uh how long does it take now it takes kind of it depends it depends on the complexity of it. If I do a pre-sketch, there's a lot of factors. So like, if I make a pre-sketch on paper, like for instance, let's see. Okay, so here is, um, here, here is Tarnish. This is Tarnish, he's a, the goat. So this is Tarnish, this is, and this is, let's see. I just go to tarnish. So like, so like me doing this pre sketch, me doing this pre sketch, kind of makes it easier for this, since it makes it a lot. It makes it go by a lot quicker since I have all the most of the details that I want included already, so I don't have to think of them all on, on the spot. So when I do those kind of pre-sketches, the this allows my mods to come out a little bit quicker and easier. But when I don't do those pre-sketches, it could take probably a few hours, maybe even a few days, depending on what what I what else I have going on, or if I'm like if I'm stumped, or if I experience some kind of art block for a limited for a few minutes or a few days just uh, trying to get the designs to become cohesive for me so it takes it yeah it, it, it just varies it honestly just varies so all right Lu losing me right. well photoshop flower so what's your thought process when it comes to creating fake in my I think I, I think that I think what I said before kind of covers that. Like my thought process essentially just comes down to finding. I like thinking. I like to think outside the box. I like to do research about stuff that people have probably never done before. Like I've done a bunch of of uh, probably animals and and creatures and stuff that people probably haven't never even heard of or stuff or done things like for puns and stuff like penny for your thoughts and things like that and uh i just like having fun with it like that's pretty much my process like find stuff have fun with it so like that's why i have a lot a few fire type one a fire type aquatic creatures 
and why I have some moms that will prob probably go against the norm of what they would probably really be, stuff like that. So, yeah, my thought process pretty much just comes from me having one to have fun and just having just mm, just going for it for the most part. Like it doesn't really matter too much, but yeah, just have just having fun with it. All right, Dick Chin Clucker, how do you start your designs? So, all right, yeah, I've, yeah, that's that's pretty much been answered. I start with my planning phase, and just sketch. How do you come? How do you come with the color combos and when? Do you first come up with your palette you want to use, or after you make the design first? Also, what are your favorite combinations to apply in your designs? Okay, so when it comes to the colors and stuff like that, I'm I I suck. I'll say that. Or well, I I'll say I used to suck. I don't know. It it depends. It varies from person to person what they think. But personally, I think I've gotten I've gotten a bit better with my colors. Uh, when it comes to my color combinations and stuff like that, back then, like my eyes, like I have I have cataracts. So when it comes to back when it was back then, the bright brighter colors kind of mess with my eyes and stuff like that. So like that's why I'm always in like. I choose to have dark mode on most of my stuff because the the bright lights bother my eyes and stuff like that. So when it comes to the brighter colors, I don't really use them a lot. So all my a majority of my mods came out looking flat, dull, just kind of muddy. So so yeah, that that was my fault. And so now I'm just kind of I'm just I have to just go go for brighter colors and just actually find out ones that work because I never learned well I learned about color theory but I didn't go to a, like an art school and stuff like that so I didn't really think about it as much as I should have but now I am so pretty much I'm using I'm trying to use color theory more now and <clears throat> trying to use brighter colors that don't end up just making everything look muddy since I know like right like i have better like my eyes i guess my eyes have gotten a bit better now even though bright stuff still kind of bothers me but when it comes to coloring my mind and stuff like that it's been easier it's been it's been better so let's see the i don't come up with the palette first uh i do it after the design comes out and then i just keep on experimenting with different colors until i get what i want so and also what are your favorite combination to apply your designs I don't know I my favorite color is green so I guess I like green but I don't really have a favorite combination honestly <sighs> sorry sore <laughs> that, that's all I got <laughs> uh, heroic art from heroic outlaw do you have any recurring issues when designing fake and mind? Is there one part or more parts in the process that stay hard to get right? Alternatively, which parts of the process do you like the most? Okay, so a lot of my recurring issues have been that my minds end up <clears throat> having a similar look or body shape and stuff like that. My I keep on using certain colors. My colors end up looking kind of my, like I said before, my colors were always muddy and stuff like that since the brightness and everything were hurt were messing with my eyes a lot. And <clears throat> uh, another issue was pretty much me being self-conscious about what other people would think and everything since I, I, wanted to, I wanted a lot of people's approval since I was inspired by so many people and I wanted approval so, bad, so damn bad. But now I'm just like, whatever. Um... Uh, Coming up with the body shape, coming up with an original body shape that doesn't end up looking like someone else's or copy something that you've already done is kind of difficult. So I'm always trying to, I'm always trying to like think of new ways to do it. And sometimes it, and sometimes it comes out well, other times it, it just doesn't, it doesn't turn out wet, right? And it just ends up looking kind of, it looks okay, like, uh, people also, there's also a thing where my stuff ended up looking stiff. I still don't, like, that's still a whole thing that I don't really understand for the most part. Like, I understand the difference between stiffness and dynamicism. But for my eyes, some of, some of the things that people say are stiff, I, I think is kind of dynamic. And stuff that people say is dynamic, I think is kind of stiff. Like, it's just, it's just a whole thing. So it's like, it's, 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 it's weird. 
So I'll say that the dynamicism is hard for me to get right since since it varies for me, I guess. Uh, body shape and sometimes colors. And which process? Which part of the process do I like the most? Mm. It'd be messed up if I said that I, I, I don't like a certain parts of the project or I don't care. Um, hmm. I guess just the the research, I guess the research aspect of it. Uh, I just like learning new stuff that I didn't know before. Like doing a bunch of research that like I learned like some some members of the Crocodilia family like swallow stones and stuff like that to help digest food, stuff like that. Like learning, just learning things that I didn't learn before, like how I knew like there are actually flying snakes out here and stuff like that. So yeah, just the research aspect of it. And I guess showing people the final product, product and seeing what they think, I guess that those are pretty much the only things I can think of. Just the research part of it and showing the finished result that I'm proud, that I'm actually proud of. All right, what is your favorite Pokemon of each type? Oh God, I'm not. I can't go into all that. Sorry, sorry, Retirex. Sorry, Redirex. I I can't go into all that. Just know my favorite fire type is probably Arcanine. Uh, what do you? And finally, from Cure Ice, what do I do to unwind, relax? <laughs> now here's the thing about that. I don't really relax. I don't really unwind a lot. It's kind of, I don't know why it's so hard for me to do that, but yeah, I don't really do that a lot, but usually I just, but I guess in my spare time or I'll count that, count this as me when I ever break, I pretty much, I either sleep or I just sit in my, sit in my bed and watch videos or TV. That's pretty much it. Like, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of hard for me to think about because I don't really like there's not a lot that hmm. Yeah, I just, I pretty much just sit sit in sit in my bed, sleep, watch, watch videos and stuff like that. Like I go I go out to I go out to movies and stuff like that whenever there's something that I want to come out. That 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 helps me unwind, unwind a bit like just bless my head and just be free and stuff like that. I used to walk. I used to walk around a lot too, but yeah, now now I yeah, especially with the everything still going on. Yeah, no. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much. I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> thanks, thank, thanks y'all. Thanks for the questions. Those people who asked if they see this video. Um, um, yeah, like. Keep on asking me questions if you want. Uh, I, I'm, I'm always I'm always down to like communicate, collaborate, just talk with people if they want. I'm down. I'm I'm open. But yeah, hope you, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope my answer satisfies someone to some degree. If not, I apologize. I will try harder next time. And next time, hopefully, if I don't have any other ideas, you, we will be back with my fake Dex Generation Two. But until then, Dark and Wendy out. <laughs>